Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Pattern tool to create additional instances of your models within a scene. This is different than a duplicate, and much, much faster than building out each model in your CAD software. Overall, you're going to get increased speed and decreased file sizes using this method. So here's my first trick. I modeled just this one single card and imported it into Keyshot, but I want a full deck, a stack of 52. So I'm going to right click in the scene tree and select make pattern. This launches the pattern tool dialog where you can manipulate several variables. For a stack of 52 cards, I'm keeping it linear and just increasing the number of instances along the Y axis. So bump that to 52 and press enter to see that in the real time view. And I do want to make sure that these materials are linked. Otherwise the materials list will be an absolute mess. So I'm going to check that box and click OK. Now let's say I want to create a kind of random assortment of cards on the table, like someone just tossed them there casually. I'm going to open the pattern tool again. This time I'm going to increase my instances along both X and Z. Then modify the spacing a bit for each. And finally I'm going to open this scattering dropdown and these sliders for displacement and Y rotation they really just have to be adjusted based on what you're seeing in the real-time view. So just increase or decrease these depending on what you want to achieve. If you don't love what you're seeing, you can always go back and edit the pattern to your liking. Also, you might experience some overlapping with patterns like this one. To fix this, I'm just going to select a card that I kind of want to rest on top of the others. I'm going to adjust that and then choose to have it snap to the lower object. So this is the scene after tweaking it a bit more. I added a stack of cards in there for some variety, but honestly making a pattern in Keyshot is a really quick shortcut for a lot of things. So be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends.